want to be all we can. We want to know all we can. We want to feel all we can. All there is, all there was, all there will ever be. Can all be the judge? All is the judge. Here come the judge. All is the judge. All there is, is the judge. We want you to feel it too. We want you to know it's you. We in the mountains, all in the air. We want to be all over everywhere. Can you feel it too? We want to communicate with you. The motion of love has animated us. We still love you. There's no way to get out of the world without love, unless you the devil. There's no connecting fabric to the universe stronger than the atomic magnetism of spiritual love. There's only the lover as a compact universe in constant motion. The planets are in constant prayer. The sun is the god they pray to. We are the sun's children, black creatures of grace. Praise your ancestors through whom you came to this planet, attached to a cord from beginning to now. The seven tones of the scale are the flying planes of life. Earth men and earth songs play the scale of life. Wind, let us move from plane to plane. We drift in space as circles of feeling. All the presence of invisible influence controls the paths we take. Make the invisible visible within your space. See the things you need to see and know they exist. The world shapes and is to be shaped. A portrait of God is the universe, alive and conscious down to its minuteness. Your relationship with all the things they seem and the sun unseen, the felt, the need to be felt. Ah, Ray, touch me, pull through either. Speed eater, space lover, you need to get better. Ah, uh, you need to experience better times, Negro. We love you, Negro. Love you better if you get better. Love yourself better if you get better. We want to see you again as ruler of your space. Big Negro, big old Negro. Growing, wind star flying through your huge blue lungs. Lungs filled with hurricanes of transparent finger pops. You need to be chained of moans. Stretch out, Negro. Grow, grow, go on and grow. Stretch out, expand, bigger than a white boy's shack. You the star, Negro. You touch all points with your circular self. Adam, Adam is your name. The base of blood, the whole of life is based upon. Grow up through those shitty shitties. Ain't no Italian suit can contain you. Your body is all space. Your feet is valley makers. Ain't no Italian shoes can contain them. You a black foot Buddha face. Only dance and squat sentries in the desert for heavy Simba training. You can dance, nigga, I know it. Dance on to freedom. You can sing, nigga, sing. Sing about your pure movement in space. Grow, you pierce the clouds of animal ignorance. You bigger than animal cages. Your arms cross the serpent of unknowing. Your heart is Africa and bloodline sweeps the rest of existence with color. All color, heat, and speed are yours. Salam, brother, you still getting up. Bigger than skyscrapers. Sunset, advertise your family and that casual trip to Earth. Yes, Ham, you bigger than Negro. Yes, Moses, it's all right. You raised me eater of all fours. Your experiment while dangers taught us about matter and feeling of the breathing opposites. We have the experience. We came to the West. We grew in the West. We know the heart of stone. We can talk stone talk. We know about emptiness, hallowedness, blackness, coldness, materialism, and the warship of grayness. We have been exposed to grayness. We know about witches and devils. We passed that. We grown past animals. We've been humans. Now go and call you Negro if you keep getting up. Yes, you grown blood. Your Afro dealing with images and outer space, soft million tipped antenna, bring back and feed on the new image, the new learning, yes, the new learning is here, vision through Afro antenna, bloodline got heaven spread out, like Eden and covering the world, bloodline from Africa, got gas as a sound, sliding through the veins as receivers, each hair received, each paw received, each face full, praying, fingers praying, arms lips hair praying, now go and call you Negro, if you keep getting up, you grown blood, fly through body, Feel the planes of feeling, you're growing blood, and the space and essence will receive you. Heaven got the throw to have you in it. You found out so much truth. You passed little eyes and little words. You shattered to the half blind and a mountain to the ignorant. Language at celestial altitudes sounds like blood squatting at high tempo. Kiss Venus for me while you up there, man. A huge black star spread out fire lord in empty space. I hear you laughing, man. Is that hip to be that hip? You a star and light sign. You the Noah that first perceived the light and made the symbol we carry yet. Man, his universe at the dawn of creation. Bring back angelic definition for our lives here beneath the mantle of thing love. Divine is the name we give you. Grace is the name we give you. Messenger we call you. 
prophet we call you, noble black man, professor of wisdom and faith, Mulana, father of the new dissemination. Your grace, your growth is our own. Everybody that you see that's walking around, conscious or unconscious, comes out of a family unit. Until we fix the family unit, then we can't fix ourselves. We must respect the mother and the father in the environment. When I was growing up, I had a mother and I had a father. You know what I'm saying, you know? So I had two forces that I can deal with. My father was the provider and the one who disciplined us and my mother was the nurturer. She was the one, you know what I'm saying, that was there, you know what I'm saying, when we did something wrong and my father bust our, bust our ass, excuse my, my language, bust our ass um, and put us in our proper order, you know what I'm saying, that was the family unit. Now the black man has been removed from that environment. He's no longer there. They're being raised by the so-called computer. They're being raised by the TV. They're being raised by the gangs in the street. This is why there's so much corruption and so much chaos going on. Because there's nobody there leading the family. You know what I'm saying? They're going off of white supremacy on what they see on TV and they're conducting themselves in that order. So we got to understand this. In order for us to come up out of any state of mind, we must straighten out the family. The family must be corrected. I must respect that black woman. You know what I'm saying? That black woman must respect me. You know what I'm saying? They are pushing the homo thing in our community. They want all our men to be gay. They want all our women to be gay. You know what I'm saying? Because this stops the process of birth. This is another form of eugenics where a man doesn't like a woman and a woman doesn't like a man. That means that the black race is going to cease to exist in the form that's, that it's in. If we don't come together as a whole and we don't look at ourselves as one, then we can't go anywhere higher than what this European wants us to go. He wants to stay stagnant. He wants to, he wants to remain in the state of mind. This is an emergency right now for the black family to come together. To unify. I'm talking about the uncles and the aunts. You know what I'm saying? The brothers and the sisters. In the same environment and don't even love one another. You know what I'm saying? The black community is going crazy when you got these youth killing one another. Why? Because the family that they come from, there's no love in that house. There's confusion in that house. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody helping that little kid with his homework or trying to give him any guidance on what he needs to do with himself. There's no love in that house for that little child. And the mother is in the house having different men come back and forth out the house. And the kids think that it's all right for that kind of behavior. What's going on with the black race? What's going on with us? You know what I'm saying? When we cease to exist in this frame of mind. We gotta come back and realize and understand the culture and the power that we have. And we have to manifest this every day. We gotta teach our children how to love one another, how to care for one another, how to do the things they need to do in order to survive in this world. Because the white man doesn't care anything about us. And you got some Negroes that look just like or act like this white man, you know what I'm saying, who's more destructive than he is because he's amongst us, talking, smiling, laughing with us, but stabs us in the back. So we got to understand that sometimes we have to come back and realize that the only way that we're going to make it, we have to unify the Catholic, the Muslim, you know what I'm saying, whatever perfection of religion that you have, we got to put that to the side and work on our black issues. This is very important. And I want to give a shout out to a young lady out in California, you know what I'm saying, who's studying uh, 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 um, contract, crack, contract law, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to hear from this woman very soon. She's doing her thing in California. She's studying how to uh, prepare a contract so when people uh, are dealing with certain elements that they know they can't get beat, you know what I'm saying? By this European because he's going to trick them. He's not going to actually tell them exactly what's going on. He's going to try to rob and steal from them. So we must learn different aspects of information in order for us to be successful in our lives. And we must respect each other. That woman got to respect that man. I got the constant go back. And that man got to respect that woman. Because we cannot survive with neither one. You know what I'm saying? We can't survive if every, if every woman loves another woman. If every man loves another man, we cannot survive like that. We have to come back to love and caring for one another. Because if we don't, 
we are going down. Total destruction. So we got to unify this family. We got to come together and we got to start to love one another. Love is very important. We don't have that any longer for each other. Peace and black power. I got one question, Brother Seville. Do you think all these religious Hebrews, Nation of Islam, and all these organizations, religious organizations, have fostered greater division or helped us or hurt us more than they have helped us? I think that I think that they have caused division, man. Because they can't sit down. You know what I'm saying? They can't sit down and actually they talk about it, but we can sit down and we can discuss this if I'm a Muslim, if I'm a, he uh, 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 a Hebrew Israelite, or if I'm a Catholic, or if I'm a born again Christian, or you know what I'm saying, if I'm a Sunni Muslim, whatever it might be. They have not came to the table as of yet. And these people are supposed to have common sense. These people are supposed to be intelligent, but they haven't even sat down with one another. You got division inside the, inside the Christian family. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you got the uh, Seven Day Adventists. You know what I'm saying? You got the God in Christ. You know what I'm saying? You got a, 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 uh, uh, what they call it? you got the Catholic, you got the Protestant, you got all these different divisions of Christianity, they can't come together. Then you got the Sunni Muslim, you got the Orthodox Muslim, you got the black uh, 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 um, Farrakhan uh, Muslims, you know what I'm saying? All these different Muslims and they can't sit down at the table and solve black issues, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to throw all that stuff out the window. That's why Marcus Garvey was so successful. Because he was a Christian himself, but he told them, listen, when you come in here and you're talking about black problems, we got to put that religion down. You ain't got to get rid of it, but put it down for right now. And let's talk about what's going on in our households. You know what I'm saying? You know, with our kids being molested by the fathers. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they can't be trusted around their own kids. Where does this, where does this mentality come from? The plantation. You know what I'm saying? That cracker lived like that. He raped us. You know what I'm saying? When we were babies. You know what I'm saying? He raped that woman in front of that kid. You know what I'm saying? And the black man has put himself in that state of mind where he has to be reversed. He has to be retaught all over again from scratch on how to be a man and how to be responsible and how to be there for his children when he makes them. Because a lot of these dudes make babies but don't take care of them. And that's a travesty within itself. We cannot survive or go on in our life if we conduct ourselves in that state, form, or fashion. You know what I'm saying? We cannot survive. So, I feel that in order for us to, to carry ourselves on, we have to drop all of those religions and sit down and talk. I don't care what scholars around the country is doing what. If we don't sit down with each other and discuss what we need to do in our lives as black African people, I think that all the stuff that we are doing around the country means nothing. And a lot of these brothers and sisters are going around giving these lectures, but a lot of these people on the street, and I'm constantly say this, a lot of people on the street who don't have the money to come to these lectures, they're missing out. So a person like me, who's a street soldier, you know what I'm saying, who's in the street teaching every day, this is what I do, with the Bloods, the Crips, the Latin Kings, and all the rest of these gangs. I'm in the street teaching them how to love themselves, how to care for their families, how to be responsible young men and women, and do what they need to do in their household. This is what I do. I'm not in the big halls, even though I give lectures, but my powerful, most powerful lecture is on the street, teaching their babies what the real truth is about them as African people. What, what do you think about the, the whole scare is over Ebola? Third stage of the Tuskegee experiment. First of all, you should realize it happened where? In Liberia? Sierra Leone? Over there where the black man left North America and went and set up over there? They're still after the black man in America. Those are his descendants over there. Then, they got a patent on it. How do you patent a virus? Unless you are systematically, pharmaceutically, putting it out there to eradicate the people. So this is what's going on with y'all. Why y'all are still worrying about Christmas and Thanksgiving coming up. Your ass is being liquidated. And it will continue to take place like that until you wake up.
Oh no, I'm not. You're not woke. No, you're not woke. Now one of you niggas got food stashed in your closet, water stashed in your closet, first aid kits in your closet. None of you. You have no way of getting out. No way of maneuvering. If you close the supermarket tomorrow morning, what's the deal? If the, you can't go to the hospital tomorrow morning, what's the deal? Get your shit in line. Stop focusing on all of this bullshit they got you focusing on. About this and that and that and this and focus on what's really happening. Because he done spread this shit in your community. And that's just the part he told you. We don't know how many motherfuckers is over here with it. So, are you, it's a man-made, because I mean... Of course it's man-made. Because now, so that shouldn't be a surprise to the people because viruses have been used for years by the white man. Of course. He, he used, I think, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, he sent small, small pops up in blankets. General Amherst sent them to the, to the natives. Yeah, and he continues to do it. Ain't nothing changed but the address and the name. Still the same game going on. So, wake up or lay down. It's your choice.